Adam Housley is also on the scene with another eyewitness, Adam. Yeah, Brett, we're about 150 yards or 200 yards. This is where the shootout began, right where I'm standing, right in front of me where the back uh, window was shot out. Bob Filter was here, and along with some of the employees as well. When you heard what was going on, you, you gave me a pretty, pretty great description, Bob. What was it like? Well, it was chaos. Uh, the cop cars were coming down, the sirens were going off, and right in front of the building, all of a sudden we heard a shot, and they blew out the back window of the SUV. It traveled down the street here about another two blocks, and uh, the, all of a sudden they started unloading. And uh, it sounded like Vietnam out here. They were shooting like crazy. Both sides were shooting? Yes. yes. How, did you see who, how many people were in the car or in the SUV? No, but didn't, because the windows were all dark, so we didn't see, but we heard there was three, and they shot one up there, so two are still loose. Obviously, you know what happened about four and a half hours ago, just up the street here, about a mile and a half. Um, when that went, I mean, what's the last four and a half hours been like, and, and what was it like when that happened, I mean, for that time frame? Well, it's been a little chaotic here. We shut everything down. We locked the, the plant up. We locked all the gates outside uh, just in case because we didn't know where they were at, and we heard the reports that they still were on the loose. So we kind of been, we thought everything was under control because, you know, we've been watching the news reports up there and it looked like the cops were at ease and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden this happened this afternoon. They must have flushed them out from somewhere, you yeah. know, and uh, there we are. What's that feel like to have this kind of gun battle literally feet in front of your, this business? My heart's still pounding like crazy, I'll tell you. It was very, very scary, very scary. I mean, we heard the shots. I hit the dirt, and so did everybody here. We got everybody down, you know, because flying bullets, you never know where they're going to land. Right. So. Bob Filter, I appreciate your time, and sorry to meet under this circumstance. But, Thank Brett, you. again, I'll show you the scene right over here. Well, actually, we're on the scene again. Uh, Lance, our photographer, has the sh shot. You can see right here. We're maybe a couple hundred yards away. Right there is where the, 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 the shooting ended, or the shootout ended, I should say. But it began where we're standing. So uh, the glass, in fact, is still in the street back over here behind a police car. That's where the first window, as he mentioned, as Bob mentioned, was shot out uh, as part of that chase. It's back over here, but I don't think See right over there by that blue car, Lance, kind of in the shade, half in the sun? That was where the back window was shot out. So, Brett, when we broke in with you about, uh, I don't know how long ago it's been now, maybe half an hour when this chase began, that's about the time that window was shot out. By the time the aerial pictures came in, that's where it ended up. So you can see that this, this shootout was really only a couple of blocks long, uh, and it was very violent, as you heard from Bob. Uh, we met a couple other people coming down the street saying that they heard uh, the gunshots as well, and pretty much everybody just hit the ground. And i got to tell you, it's uh, out here, as you might imagine, all throughout this area, for the last four and a half hours, is, to say it's been tense is an understatement, Brett.